Anti-American hatred online is as fierce as ever after the killing of Osama bin Laden and the celebrations in response. They are celebrating their own end. Osama is in the heart of every Muslim, reads one posting on a pro-jihadi online forum. The jihad will continue, says another. Many uh, of the activists online were disgusted by all the celebrations because it was sort of spitting in jihadi's face in some respects. But intelligence analysts say they see no sign any group on the terror watch list has specific plans for retaliation. A far more likely scenario, they say, is that individuals may now try to strike back. With some individuals, this now may be an added incentive to, uh, to uh, conduct attacks, whether it's at U.S. military bases or um, at key public transportation sites. Disenfranchised people in the U.S. have previously attempted terror strikes. Najibul Azazi last year pled guilty to planning a bomb attack on the New York subway. Faisal Shahzad tried but failed to detonate a bomb in Times Square last year. They tend to be much less sophisticated in general. Such lone wolves tend to lack advanced bomb-making capabilities. Analysts say they're more of a threat to engage in shooting attacks. Five men were convicted in 2008 of planning such an attack on soldiers at Fort Dix, New Jersey. The following year, it happened at Fort Hood, Texas. Army psychiatrist Nidal Malik Hassan shot and killed 13 people on the military base. Alan Chernoff, CNN, New York.